What's up guys, Takedown here with another taste test video for you. Today we are taste testing Japanese Kit Kats. Now I'm really excited for this one. I did announce a while ago that I did plan on doing this one in the future and the time has come. Now if you have looked up the Japanese Kit Kats before, if you've watched other YouTubers taste test them or anybody, they are some pretty weird flavors. And I can't tell what they all are. I'm assuming by the packaging what they are, but it's really hard to tell. And I'll explain that more in the video. But how this is going to work, I basically have 14 Japanese flavors. I'm going to rate them pretty much from best to worst. See where they fall in the line. And how I'm going to do it is by random. I'm going to put them in a little bag. And I'm going to pull them out randomly and taste test them. See whether or not I like them. If I don't know what it is, I'm going to try to guess to see what flavor it is. And then we'll see if I'm right, possibly. Hopefully it's really good. I'm really excited for this. Over here in Canada and in North America, they only have the original one. So it's going to be pretty unique to try some weird flavors. Don't know what to expect. I'm expecting big things because it is Kit Kat. But there's always a chance that some are going to be gross. But anyways, let me show you what we are working with. So these are the Japanese Kit Kats we are going to be taste testing today. They are 14. Yes, they are the mini ones. I honestly thought they were the big ones when I ordered them. But as you can see, they all have Japanese lettering on them. Some you can tell what they are or you can have an idea of it. For example, I'm assuming this one is orange. I mean, there's a little orange on it. But if you look at this one here, it's all Japanese lettering. You got the Twitter bird and you got a baseball in the corner. So I'm not sure what they're going with with some of these. Some of these look okay. Some of these look all right. I'm just going to put them in this bag and we're going to taste them one by one and see how they are and kind of guess to see what flavor they are because as you can see, you, you can't really tell. It's, it's Japanese. Literally Japanese on it and I don't speak or write or can read Japanese. So this is going to be very interesting. So let's just get right into it with the weird flavors. So I put them in the bag, what they sent me, the packaging. And we're gonna start off with this one right here. Oh, this one actually says something on it. Sakura and roasted soybean. It is pink, so I thought it was strawberry when they grabbed it. So that's what we're working with, white. That's really strong, that scent. Oh my God. Not a huge fan. Let's just put that one in the middle for now. I'm gonna leave that in kind of the middle for now. Has like a coffee taste to it. I'm assuming that's a soybean. Not a fan, not a fan at all. Next up, all Japanese, so I'm not sure what it says. I don't know if that's like a latte or coffee, but. Looks like a cookies and cream vibe, but probably won't taste like it. Okay. Second bite. I like that one. What it tastes like, whipped cream chocolate. So that one's way ahead right now. The other one I pushed far back. Not sure what this is. All Japanese again, most of these are. Kind of looks like a red sauce there and chocolate bits on a spoon. It's lighter than a regular chocolate, regular uh, Kit Kat. I don't know what it is, but it's good. Kind of. Doesn't beat out the last one though. Okay, now it has a gross aftertaste. I do not like that one. Next up we have, I don't know what it is, blue packaging. You got a baseball, stick a yellow tint to it. Lemon? Lemon. I think it's, I think it's lemon, it smells like lemon. There's literally something in it. I 
I don't think it's lemon. It's probably called something else. But it tastes exactly like lemon. So I'm going to say it's lemon. Second place right now. That looks like a wine glass with uh, rabbit turds. That's what it looks like on the packaging. White one. It's like a grape vibe to it. No. I don't know what that one is. Nope. Not sure what this one is. Dark chocolate maybe, because it's really freaking dark. Normally I'm not a fan of dark chocolate, but I'm gonna give that first place right now because the other one, the whipped cream one's just a little bit, it's good, but it's, I don't know if it's better than that one. I'm assuming this one's either wasabi or green tea. That literally smells like nothing. It was stinging for a second, so I thought wasabi. Literally nothing, so it could be green tea. Or I just could be, you know, immune to wasabi. But I don't know what it is. Should not have taken another, another bite, though. I'm going to put them in the bottom, because there's a stinging again strawberry literally all over the packaging and it says a moi strawberry that's Japanese for strawberry I don't know why I'm showing you it they're just different colors we have done it we have the new first place dark green it's spelled death. This one smells like ass. <laughs> yep. Probably gonna taste like it too. Sabi, I bet. Green wafer on it too. I don't know what wasabi tastes like. But that just tastes like vomit. That's disgusting. So it's probably wasabi. So we're going to try it. Hopefully birthday cake. You know how happy I'd be if I found there was a birthday cake one? And I'm pretty sure there's like a purple yam or something, but... Oh, there it is. There's the part I don't like in food. When the flavor turns to crap in your mouth. So that's going to be in the last place category now. Along with everything else that was no good. Orange. Oh yeah, it's orange. You can smell it. If I had to, this is going to be in fourth place. I would put it lower, but it's what you would expect. Kind of looks like an original one too. They better not have gave me two originals because I would be pissed. I think it's a berry flavor. It's like a purplish tint with berry looking ass stuff in it. Whatever is inside... It's almost like it's real fruit. It's like an overwhelming flavor. Like all your taste buds get hit with a flavor, a strong flavor, all at once. But I'm going to put that in the fifth spot right now. Last up, what I believe is going to be green tea because it looks like tea leaves on there. Nothing else tastes like green tea yet. Green tea is disgusting that's the one that almost makes me throw up and I am done eating it now let me show you where I have put everything as of right now so here is what I believe is the top five out of that number one would be the strawberry Kit Kat right here it's your traditional strawberry it actually tastes really good this is what I would call double dark chocolate not sure what it actually is called it gets second place. Third place is, tastes exactly like whipped cream. Literally, that's it. So that's why it gets third place, because it's unique, it's special. Fourth place gets orange. As I said, I'm not a huge fan of orange, but 
I mean, it's better than a lot of the other flavors. And then last up is the one of the last things I tasted, maybe the second last thing. And it has berry in it, and it's an overload, overload of um, flavor all at once. So not the greatest, but I'm putting it in the fifth spot because it's way better than all of these ones. I'm assuming this one here actually is green apple, but it tasted nothing like green apple. As for everything else, I would never purchase this again because all of those ones are gross. And of course, we have the original. Now, I did take the another bite out of the original, and it does not taste the same as we have over here. So if you're thinking their Kit Kat's the same as our Kit Kat, it is not. But taste it for yourself. Prove me wrong. Let me know what you guys think because this is how I categorize it right now. All these ones, and I can't even put them in numbers like six, seven, or eight. I think they're all equally as bad. And these are your top five. And of course, I'm not going to put the original in just because it's original. It's nothing unique. I hope you guys enjoyed this taste test. Now you guys know a little bit of the Japanese Kit Kat flavors. I was really excited for this video. It was really good. It was a great experience. Honestly, I wouldn't purchase it again. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody because there's a lot of the flavors that were just gross and I didn't know what they were. So you can't tell whether or not it's accurate to the flavor because you don't know what it is. But great experience. My opinion, it's a great video. I did enjoy doing it. And to me, that's what matters the most. And views and getting subscribers is come second. So if you enjoy what you're doing, keep doing it. And that's what I will be doing in the future because I do have another taste test video planned and that is the Pocky Sticks. Um, I'm just waiting for them to come, hopefully soon. We can just hope, but I will be doing that in the future and I will be planning more videos in the next coming weeks, months, and so on and so forth. So just stay tuned for that. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.